Uh, we're in a field here looking at manganese deficiency, the most widespread problem in the UK arable uh, farming situation. Something like 60 to 70 percent of all arable fields suffer from manganese deficiency. The worst situations for manganese to develop would be on the lighter soils, soils with high pH, maybe cool wet soils and those soils that are, are, have a high organic content. Uh, if we look at the plant itself, we can see very typical uh, symptoms on this leaf, on the lower leaves, the older leaves. It's typical browning, intervenal browning, which then sort of goes to a grey colour and uh, can actually completely bleach the plant. At its most severe, in frosty conditions, uh, the plant may well completely die. The result of manganese deficiency, as you may see here and immediately behind me, is a very much retarded plant. Uh, fewer tillers, fewer leaves, backward plant never will completely recover unless treatment is done. And as I've said before, treatment really should be preventative. The uh, soil types that are typical for manganese to become a problem are those lighter soils um, which may uh, not properly consolidated through the autumn, uh, are sort of light and fluffy and um, shows, tends to show up in patches and as you can probably see in this field we have a, a yellowish patch uh, where I'm stood. Sampling to uh, identify a potential deficiency is a bit difficult with soil. Manganese is very mobile in the soil and quickly leaches out. So it can, by the time that the results of analysis come back, actually come from a, uh, a satisfactory level to an unsatisfactory level. Tissue sampling is usually used to confirm the deficiency after you've got uh, visible symptoms in the crop. So I think the history of the cropping is much more important really. The knowledge of the farm and the history of uh, manganese deficiency occurring in previous crops would tell you, the farmer, when you should be treating and treating uh, as a preventative treatment on a routine basis is, is the way to, to manage this problem. Uh, prevention is the way forward as most arable farmers are now aware and the traditional way of treating, increasingly so, has been with the use of these 1,000 litre IBCs. They would contain a 15% solution of the manganese in the sulphate form. They are in need of a forklift for loading and unloading. They are cumbersome. Um, and when they're empty, they're often a nuisance. Uh, the, the manufacturers will rarely take them back. New to the market is manganese 350 from Fielder. What Fielder have done with this product is concentrate the manganese to a 35%, hence the name 350, two and a half times the strength of the sulphate in the IBC. There are two major benefits in that. The obvious one is the pack size is a five litre pack, it's much reduced with an application rate of 0.5 to 1.5 litres per hectare. The second one, obviously, is the availability of the manganese in this product is, is much more uh, available to the plant because of the two formulations in it, i.e. a nitrate manganese and a sulphate manganese. Nitrate is very quickly taken into the plant, gives a nice greening effect to the crop very, very quickly. Uh, that then follows in with the sulphate to continue the process and give a long-lasting manganese control. 